morning. This is Angar Shivani Gupta and I'm here at Anicon 2022, 2022 in the city of Joy, Kolkata. And today we have... I am Dr. Shoumita Shatukhan. Uh, I'm from Bangur Institute of Neurosciences. I'm doing my PDT ship here and I'm in third year. And thank you so much, ma'am. It's a pleasure to have you at EPCA with the, with the concept of winning over epilepsy and... I would really like to know from you, how far do you think there is a major gap in the treatments uh, of epilepsy in India? First of all, I would like to say that uh, basically still, uh, actually in many parts of India, people are very afraid to come up with uh, this particular diagnosis of epilepsy. Means they don't want people to know that they have epilepsy because there are so many social taboos. And uh, as we know that these mostly come up during marital uh, negotiations, the marital affairs. So female and relatives of female patients, they are mostly you know, afraid to come up with this diagnosis. For that reason, many a times, people try to hide their diagnosis they don't seek medical attention because otherwise people will come to know and their life and social life may be hampered so that's how the uh, epilepsy still remains untreated uh, for many patients uh, but uh, uh, that's, that, that's how it's causing a gap in treatment, basically. And then another important thing is that this, most of these drugs, they are very costly drugs. There are poor people who visit um, uh, this uh, district hospitals, who visit uh, government setups for medications, but they can't make up to the hospital every month. Uh, in that way also they miss their dosages many a time. That can also cause some treatment gap. That usually causes some treatment gap. These are the two main issues which I think of causing treatment gap. Right, ma'am. And I would really like to know from you, what is the most common myth which you have come across about epilepsy? Uh, that uh, people think that this is a, this mostly occurs under supernatural influence or maybe it's a ghostly phenomenon. Uh, so these are the most important ones, means most common ones which I've come across. Right. right. So, and how far do you think, ma'am, uh, that the unawareness of epilepsy is one of the reasons of epilepsy? Uh, I wouldn't say that unawareness is a reason for epilepsy. Basically, epilepsy is a diagnosis which occurs either because of some, uh, you know, accidents causing structural changes in the brain or it may be some infections in the brain uh, which is causing the seizures to occur or it may be something which is very genetic. Uh, now, what can happen if a patient doesn't take treatment, then it can con keep on causing damage to the brain and the patient may develop uh, other problems. But as such, due to uh, lack of treatment, this uh, epilepsy doesn't mean... Uh, your question was like, uh, can unawareness cause epilepsy? No, it can't cause epilepsy. Epilepsy is there in the either gene of the person or it's caused by because of some other disease. But uh, yes, unawareness can cause further brain damage. And that can cause other neuro deficits like memory impairment, etc. etc. All right, ma'am. Is there is any message which you want to give it to, to all the patients who are suffering from epilepsy? Uh, first thing is that uh, I would just want to uh, tell these people that uh, there's no such person in this world who is free of all ailments okay so there are even even i am sitting here i am also wearing contact lens okay so that is also some problem some disease some ailment isn't it i need aspects to see uh, so each and every one of us has some disease uh, for some it's very disabling for others it means we can easily carry on with our daily activities without letting others know of our disease so I think we should first accept that we have this diagnosis. Then the second thing is that if we want to make our lives better, then we should seek medical attention. We should prevent whatever has already happened has happened. We can't do anything to that. Now we should prevent further damage to our brain and that we can do by taking regular medications. And if we miss, and epilepsy is such a thing where even if we miss a single dose, there is a high chance of having an attack. And a single attack can cause a loss of problems, lots of problems. Not only it can cause damage to the brain, but uh, just because of the epileptic attack, if the patient falls down, okay, unprotected, then I can also cause a number of injuries. So in that way, I would 
suggest them that in any way means you should not stop taking medications that's one important thing and try to uh, teach other people spread this to other people that there these are not supernatural things these are not ghostly phenomenon these are very natural diseases and we should accept and all should come forward to make uh, the lives of epilepsy patients better right and very rightly said by ma'am every problems has a solution and ep epilepsy also has a solution by getting it treated right ma'am so thank you so much for joining epka and uh, the you know jo pehal humne kari hai winning over epilepsy thank you so much ma'am thank you it was lovely having you here